In tonight's Health Watch, it is the second most common cancer in the U.S., yet you've probably never even heard of it. There are a million cases of it every year. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez explained how it's different than other skin cancers. That's right, and there are three basic types of skin cancer. There's basal cell, by far the most common. There's melanoma, far fewer cases, but deadly because it spreads when it's very small. Then there's squamous cell, also called CSCC. It falls in between melanoma and basal cell in terms of severity. Ed Matthews spent many of his younger years working as a caddy on the golf course. Five or six days a week I would do that. So I was definitely in the sun then. Little did he know, all of that sun exposure would lead to problems later. How's your day going? Very good. Thanks. Dr. Ariel Ostad has treated Ed for various skin cancers. His biggest it's scare came when he noticed a small bump on his neck. So then it became from a pea to the size of a bean, and then it blew up to a half of a golf ball. Ed was diagnosed with advanced cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, or CSCC. As it grows, it can become scaly, red, inflamed. Ultimately, it can become painful as it gets bigger. The Skin Cancer Foundation is raising awareness about this type of skin cancer. A new survey shows 42% of Americans have never heard of CSCC, even though it causes more deaths than melanoma. Your skin is cleared up a lot. So That's because there are so many more cases of CSCC than melanoma. Ed is among the 40,000 people treated for advanced CSCC every year. He underwent not only surgery to remove that mass on his neck, but all the lymph nodes had to be removed. He also needed radiation and chemotherapy. Dr. Osted says early detection is critical, so he encourages annual skin exams and prevention from an early age, including sunscreen and protective clothing. That's key. Now Ed checks his body for any skin changes. When I'm shaving, um, I'm looking around a little bit or feeling it. He's now been in remission for three years. Now, all three types of skin cancer are related to sun exposure. The folks who are most at risk are like our patient, fair skin with blonde hair and blue or light colored eyes. But African Americans can also get skin cancer. So everyone needs to wear sunscreen. And of course, everyone needs those skin checks, usually annually, if, uh, if, if at all possible, because even you know little bumps and little moles and things that look very benign can turn out to be something nasty. Is it easy to detect? Well, you know, it depends. I mean, you can't always see all parts of your body, right? I, I mean, if you feel something on your skin that's rough or a little bump or a pimple that doesn't seem to go away, those are obvious. But, you know, you, even dermatologists sometimes get fooled. So you got to go to the expert, let them take a look, and let them take a full look at all of your body. Dr. Max, right. thank you. You bet. You bet.